Okay, next up question two. Open the two boat word processing document. And insert your exam number in the header or footer. 2.1. Change the direction of the callout shape next to the heading Vote for your favorite painting as shown below. All right, so let's see how we can do that. So, text direction. There you go, up way, that way. 2.2. Insert a footnote on the text Works containing the text impression.org. Use the default footnote number format. Right, so for a footnote, you never select the text because that can cause problems if you insert the footnote with special instructions such as below the text or something. So at the back, you just stand behind the word, references. Now because we're just using the default number we can actually click on insert footnote but generally i would say try to always use this menu option and um, just the dialog box launcher because here you can actually choose everything else that you need to if you need to change the position if you need to change it to an end note if you need to change the number format if you need to insert a custom mark anything else you need to do you can do here in this case we leave everything in the default and we just click insert and then we insert the text impression.org and we can go check that it works impression.org perfect 2.3 change the bullets in the bulleted list under the heading voting rules to the two pick image found in your examination folder Okay, so under voting rules, it's these, home, so define new bullet, picture, work offline, and go and choose the picture that they've specified to pick. Okay. Please remember, if you need to insert a bullet that's a symbol or a picture, it doesn't help that you go and insert the symbol by hand. It doesn't help that you go and insert the picture by hand and go and move it in the position that it looks like a bullet. If you can't get it right to be an actual bullet, you're wasting your time. You're not going to get any marks. Okay, don't spend time on that. Question 2.4. Find the text vote by completing the details below and, the, and do the following. Set the format of the text form field next to the text name so that it will always appear in uppercase. Right, so this one. Firstly, let me just go and switch on my design toolbar. Um, so I'm going to say customize the ribbon. And I'm going to insert my developer. Sorry, not design, developer. Okay. So I can just double click on name on the, that text form field and change it to uppercase. Next, replace the text current date here with an appropriate form field to always display the current date in the format YYMMDD. So, current date here, they actually want a form field. So, it will be in my legacy tools. It will be a text form field. And I'm going to change it not to date, but to current date. And change the date format to YYMM. DD, exactly what they gave me. Okay. And then lastly, add the option critic to the drop down form field next to the text voting as. 
critic add okay 2.5 find the text voting as and the drop down form field next to this text match the appearance of this text with the previous two lines by changing the tab setting of the text and the drop down form field okay so let's see what they've done here so let me just switch on my show hide anyway as you can see they've put in two tabs there's a right tab here by a left tab here by four centimeters and a right tab by 11 centimeters i'm going to show you the long way and the short way so the long way will be go to paragraph open up tabs four centimeters set and 11 centimeters right set okay and then i need to first still insert an actual tab there hey oh but there's the problem this is actually in a table so how do we insert that literal tab if a tab causes a next cell to appear so you could cut and paste it but if you press control tab then it actually inserts the tab without um, causing that problem all right, so the shorter way would be to format the painter, to use format painter. So let me just explain properly what I'm doing. I'm selecting the correct section, copying the formatting. So this is what this does, is it copies the formatting, and then I paste the formatting, and then I can just insert my tab. And then it also has those exact tabs okay 2.6 find the two tables at the bottom of the page and do the following merge the two tables into one table apply a shading of your choice to the heading row first row of the table okay so these two so we can just delete this enter and then we select this first row and apply a shading of our choice then press save that's something i haven't been doing enough you can actually just save in between every single question that's actually the safest way to do things